What is up, so real gang? How are we doing today? Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Let's get into the video. The other day, it was reported that Carmen is now talking to a rapper by the name of Big Boogie. A video has been circulating the internet of Carmen at Big Boogie's concert, and she was dancing all on him. Oh my gosh, guys, for the way she was backing that thing up, it looked like they knew each other very well. But comment down below and let us know what you think. Do you think it was just a uh, people are speculating that we talk anyways, so we might as well, right? Or do you think Carmen and Big Boogie are really talking to each other? Corey was so mad when he heard the news, he took to Twitter and stated, that boy done lost his mind. He trying to die behind that beat. Another post that stated, I know you peeped, she for the streets. The way her head moved, right? He also threw shade and stated that you're going to cheat too when you find out that that B ain't worth shit. You guys leave your comments down below and let us know what do you think about Corey and Carmen's ongoing drama. Why does he feel the need to comment on everything that has to do with Carmen? If he's moved on and he's moving on, just move on and leave her name out of his mouth. Let's get into Neek. Neek dropped a video yesterday on her channel and she stated that someone broke into her house. She did state that he was able to get away with a few things because she had left the back door open for her cleaners to get in to clean the house while she and the boys were gone. We're just so glad that they're safe and nothing was broken or damaged, but he did get away with a few things that he was able to get away with. You guys leave your comments down below and let us know. Have anyone ever broke into your house? If so, what advice would you have for people to make sure that they keep their house safe while they're away? Somebody broke into the house. Somebody actually, like literally I know, broke into my house while I was going to Puerto Rico. I watched him on the cameras. I tried to insert some clips of the man. I don't know if he was like a homeless guy or a crackhead or what, but he broke into the house and I still have stuff in the house. Um, in the old house. He told me he think he was drunk. I still have stuff in the um in my old house in the garage, and he actually like took a lot of stuff. So I want to go into the house and check on a lot of stuff, but it's just a lot going on, y'all. So we're really gonna pass by the house and see all the couple of things that he took. Um, I actually he actually got in the back door. I'm not even sure like how he knew that nobody was home, like, and it really makes me scared because he went in the house on the third. Me and the boys slept away from the house for the first night on the second. So, I mean, we had, I had literally just moved everything out. Probably like the first, I had just completely got the mattress that I was sleeping on and everything out of the house. And I wasn't even sleeping over there, but imagine if we were sleeping over there and he was just trying to get in the house or did get in the house. But he ended up getting in the house because I went out of town and I left the back door open for my cleaners to come and clean the house, but I had still had stuff in there. And he ended up taking the stuff that I had. I haven't been to the house yet to see exactly what he's taking, but I guess we're gonna do that today too. But we just landed this morning. We really, I really haven't been to sleep, but I feel like I'm just, I'm gonna go to sleep like later on. We're gonna go downstairs and get the car. And I'll you guys up a little bit later. Neat did take Kaiser to the nail salon with her, and they both did get their nails and their toes done. And she just stated that she's gonna start getting his his toes and nails done when they go to the nail salon because it's very clean cut and it's cute. Guys, I definitely agree. I think everyone should just get their nails and toes done just to keep up with the maintenance. It does look a lot better and it's very healthy for you. I know a lot of people that don't like to go to the nail salons and they do like to do it at home. So whichever is best for you, but I do recommend to clip your cuticles, guys. <laughs> Comment down below and let us know what you think. Good. And my nails good and I feel like Kaiser. You wanna get your nails to <laughs> Wait, make that face again. Stop, make that face again. Yeah. <laughs> he wanna get his, well, I suggested that he get his nails toes done because I feel like nothing is really kind of, nothing is feminine about a, a guy having good hygiene and taking care of himself and getting many pedis. His dad used to get many pedis, or he probably still would get many pedis. What? You mean? No, not paint your nails, just clean them. Let me see. Like just clean cut. Like the, pretty much the people in his life, the men in his life, get take care of themselves. They're very clean cut. I mean, 
And I feel like that's how he, not how many, but very clean cut and like put together. And I feel like that's how he's gonna be because he's very specific on what he wear and making sure, making sure that he's clean and making sure that he looks good at all times. So this just be our first time getting many pictures because he's coming with me. So no point just like him to the side. Let's get into Queen and Clarence. If you guys recall, the other day I reported that Clarence had posted a picture of him and Queen on his Snapchat and she looked pregnant. Well guys, last night, Queen took to Snapchat and she posted an ultrasound video of a baby heartbeat and it was her in the background. Now this has me thinking when Clarence posted that on his Snapchat, maybe they were just reminiscing because of what they're currently going through because her belly was a lot bigger than it appears in this video. If you guys pay close attention to the ultrasound video, you can see Queen's name up at the top and it states that she is eight weeks pregnant. This video does seem fairly new to me but we never know though we just gonna have to wait it out guys and see it says eight weeks right now so let's just wait around and see queen and clarence new movements but if they are having a baby oh my god she's having baby number three and this time i hope it is a girl she already has two boys just go ahead god and give her girl to complete her family and honestly, it's just up from there. You guys know Queen and Clarence moved recently, so they have a big enough place for the new bundle of joy that they may be welcoming. But you guys comment down below and let us know what you think. Do you believe Queen is really pregnant or do you believe she's just posting old receipts? All right, I'm recording. <laughs> Tell you guys something about my tesla right so mind you i've had this for like a few months now i really love this car in a sense of like the look of it the feeling i have been seeing things on social media um regarding like tesla's making people feel like lightheaded or fatigue or nauseous or whatever right so i feel like I'm starting to feel those symptoms every time I get into this car, this, which is why I started back driving my G wagon, my G wagon a little bit. Um, and also like some people that I was driving around that were in the back seat. Mod is one of them. Um, Brooke is one of them. Trevion, uh, Sim. Everybody that rode in my back seat said that they felt like either nauseous, lightheaded, or you know, some, something that it just didn't feel good after riding around in my car for so long. So let me turn this down. So I'm starting to wonder, like, if I should keep this. And I know I'm a, such an indecisive person, you guys. Like, I know that, like, I raved about having this car and I was like, I'm going to get my Tesla. I don't care. And people were telling me, don't get it. Don't get it. I'm the kind of person that I got to see for myself. You know, like I got to see if I'm like stuff for myself. I don't like to go off of what people say, but now I'm like, I don't know what I should do. I don't know if I should wait around to see if I should still, uh, feel these symptoms, but literally uh, I just got in this car and I already feel crazy. And the only, the other thing is my kids right in here. So Usually they're looking at their devices, so maybe they're not really focused on like looking up. But CJ doesn't have his device right now, and he said he feels a little funny. But then again, it could just be our mental too. I don't know. What do you guys think? What? You were joking? You you don't feel that way? Oh uh, well, I do. So I don't want y'all to. Feel All right, tell me what y'all think. Thank you guys for watching, and make sure you leave your comments down below.